Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. If you have an oil or natural gas furnace, the generator has enough power to run a third of a horsepower furnace fan. Conversely, a 2000 watt generator could run a radiant heater, multiple lights and a couple of fans to distribute the heat. Make your mark, take our lead. To continuously run the unit, you need approximately 800 watts. However when the compressor kicks in, it requires the additional 1200 surge watts. So it takes 2000 watts to supply ongoing power to your refrigerator freezer. Point seven January 2019. Take our lead. When the power is out you simply disconnect the furnace from the outlet and connect it to a extension cord. You run this cord outside to your generator, start the generator and once it is sufficiently running you plug the furnace in and use it like you normally would, go to the thermostat and crank up the heat. Point two zero February 2020. Take our lead. A gas furnace uses the burning of natural gas to create the heat that then goes through the ventilation system. It's like an old-fashioned stove this way, no need for electric power, just plain old heat from consuming another power source. If your gas furnace doesn't have electrical power, it won't run. Point nine January 2017. Let's help you make your mark. Considering a refrigerator as an essential device, it's common to wonder if it can be powered by a 2K watt inverter with your solar system. The short answer is you can run a mid-sized fridge as long as it uses up to 1,200 watts of starting power and is rated by Energy Star.30 November 2020. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.